everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I am playing some Xenosaga episode three. And right, can't go through the front door. Uh, <laughs> I did a bunch of shop buying off screen and sold so many items that I maybe not such a good idea because that was the shop menu right there. It lets you buy Cosmos' ultimate weapon. Problem is, it cost three hundred thousand. Right. Oh no, game wants me to go over there. But I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> Cause I totally saw that there's a box. Gimme! What's in it? What's in the box? Oh. I completely skipped over what was in the box. Okay. I just I just I just I just wanted the box. I just I just wanted the box. <laughs> Alright. Now it's time for the fight. Because of course there's a fight, there's always a fight. <sighs> hey look! Been waiting for you, young Sour. God, you're such a fucking creeper, Voyager, and not even the fun kind of creeper like Albedo. And yes, Yon Sour is Ziggy's real name. Voyager, I'm already dead. Whatever you're scheming in this place means nothing. Bullshit! <laughs> no, you're still suffering. Even now, aren't you? Time stopped for you on that day. You can never escape from it. If you'd heeded my warning and became a testament together with me, you wouldn't have had to suffer like that. See? Dun, dun, dun. Why are you so surprised? The same applies to all of you. You, you, and you. All of you possess the characteristics to become one of us. Get because I mean they're able to ride the ESs. The Testaments ride the ESs. The Testaments have fucked up backgrounds. Every single character in the party has a fucked up background. He knows that, and has been observing you all this time. <laughs> Yes, he planted an observational program in a special realium. Didn't you notice him standing by and watching you for 15 years? Program came in, or perhaps I should say, Lactus. Lactus? That's impossible. That was 100 years ago. Yeah, but Kanan is Lactus, so... <laughs> Again, where is Kanan turning to? Where is he? Like, I mean, yes, there would be one slot in in ES Rubin. Sure, that's probably that's where Kanan obviously is, even though he doesn't show up in the party. But where's Alan? <laughs> You're that Lactus. Yeah. Codename Lactus. Like, there's the, there was the one open slot in Rubin, but again, where is Alan? <laughs> where what ES is Alan writing in? He didn't even know he was a spy. Rubido, what he says is true. That's how I'm programmed. Kanan, you've been betraying us this whole time? Okay, well, he wasn't aware of it. <laughs> like, Kanan, follow up what you just said with, yeah, I was not aware of it. <laughs> Say something. Answer me, Kanan. Like, by, by admitting the fact that Kanan was not him admitting the fact that he was not aware that he was that um Wilhelm was watching the party through him doesn't really give closure to the party <laughs> don't be so hard on Lactus that's what he was made for just as you were created to be a weapon he was created to be an observer I'm sorry Rubido. again Kanan just explain yeah I didn't know like because it's obviously stated earlier in the game that Kanan didn't know. <laughs> Therefore it is not his fault and he didn't betray them. <laughs> Enough of this, Voyager. Why are you doing this? What's the point 
in making Lactus suffer now. Captain, is this why you became a testament? What's your real objective? Answer me, Eric. <laughs> I became a testament to escape the fear of death and to obtain eternal pleasure. Gross. <laughs> it had nothing to do with you, Gyasaur. Bullshit! Or you wouldn't be torturing the poor man a hundred years later. <laughs> the reason I concern myself with you is extremely simple. Like, Voyager is literally the Joker to Ziggy's Batman. <laughs> Uh-oh. I just want to enjoy my eternal life alone. See? With you. Joker to Ziggy the Batman. This One is fucked years up. Ago, you ignored my words and ended your own life. That is something I cannot accept. Is that the reason why you decided to choose this place? Exactly. This is the place where the curtain was closed. There's so much I could say about now, this cutscene. Let's move on to the encore. Well! This is one of the harder ES fights in the game. Personally, I don't think it's... Except this time, I will have the pleasure of finishing you off myself. I don't think it's Just as like I did hard as son. Omega Id, but... Rude! Fucking rude. Okay. So, slight explanation here, right? Because I've been explaining parts of the story. There is a huge section, a gigantic section of this game's lore that you will never see um, if you are outside of Japan. Because there's a Japanese-only game. I can't remember what system it's for, but it's called Xenosaga Pied Piper. And Xenosaga Pied Piper was originally supposed to be part of the entire, you know, six-game epic that um, they planned out for Xenosaga, and as I've talked about in other videos, the series ended up getting truncated into three, which is why we had the entire Lemageton Gnosis terrorism incident between two and three was just told in flashbacks and um, di database entries. But Xenosaga Pied Piper was Japan only. I think you might be able to find a translated version of it, a translated hack for it though, but um, that game sort of explains the entire Ziggy's entire fucking deal. <laughs> um, it essentially goes through like Ziggy's investigations into Voyager, aka Eric, um a hundred years ago on Abraxas, which became Mictum. Um his family's his family, his wife, his kid, his family's death. All of that shit is explained in Pied Piper, among other things. But that's sort of like what Pied Piper is. And if you were only playing the games that were released in the US, you would have no idea what Pied Piper was. And you would be a little bit confused, I would think, about Ziggy's storyline. But yeah, a lot of this shit in this, in this little truncated part about explaining Ziggy's background in like the last couple cutscenes, you'll have to go to Xenosaga Pied Piper to get the actual full story of what happened. Or, you know, read the database, because it's pretty much summarized in the database. Anyway, time to kill a dude. Is this gonna be enough? Maybe? Holy fuck! <laughs> What happens when you use an enemy's weaknesses against them? <laughs> Jeebus. <laughs> Jeebus, Jeebus, Jeebus. Jeebus, Jeebus, Jeebus. Jeebus. <laughs> Uh-oh! It's over, Eric. Another ES! A red ES! It must be Kevin! Oh no, it's just beginning. <laughs> go, Ziggy, go! Go, Ziggy, go! 
Well, that's gonna end well. Yeah, no, his head's crushed. His head is crushed. <laughs> Bruh. No need to struggle. You should know by now it's impossible for you to harm me. No. Captain, stop! But he can give you a really bad time. <laughs> Lactus. Please stop, Captain. You can't win against Eric. So, your subordinate has to save you, Jan. What a fine captain you make. <laughs> Eric, I want to make a deal with you. A deal? <laughs> you became a testament to conquer the fear of death, right? Time for Kanan to be a badass. <laughs> and what of it? Thanks to his power, I've already conquered it. No, you haven't. If the one who gave you the power perished, you would face the fear of death again. You yourself haven't changed at all. Don't you see? Hmm. Nonsense. He will never disappear. My life is eternal. Yeah, you say that, but guess who the final boss of this game is, and guess whose ass we kick? <laughs> Do you really think so? Can you be certain you will not be betrayed by the one you trust? I mean, fair! You are the one who sneered that there was no meaning in such things. I mean, fair. <laughs> Use program, Kanan. My subconscious domain is linked to a specified location to send and receive information. I presume you know where that is. The Compass of Order. Yes. By linking with me, you can directly absorb the power of the Compass. You'll obtain the power of God. How does that sound? <laughs> God damn it, Kanan! He's absolutely tricking Voyager here, and I love what it. Is it you Absolutely here for it. Make me one of you. Kanan? Lactus, what are you saying? No matter what happens, even if I survive here, I am a traitor. Again, explain to them that you didn't know. <laughs> I don't want to live on with that sullied label. <laughs> I see. No wonder you are a specially designed realian. I accept your offer. I'll take that power from you. Lactus. Though, um, it's gonna have an unintended side Well, I mean, intended- and totally intended by canon side effect, but not wanted by the rest of the group. <laughs> A.K.A. it's gonna kill canon. Cause you have to die to be made into a testament anyway. So this is his power? With this? I will become God. No, you won't. What? what? <laughs> My power. My power is fading. I guess you couldn't handle this power, Eric. You've touched something that must never be touched. So now, you must face your. Sort of like when somebody touches the Zohar, or one of the emulators, done. at least. Black like Disc. This is what you intended from the very beginning. I'm afraid you will have to join me on a journey into phase space, Eric. No. Bye, Cannon. Let go, Lactus. There's no need for you to sacrifice yourself. You won't be able to come back. Your very existence will perish. Yep. No, Captain. It's all right. I don't want to see anyone else I care about die before my eyes. I didn't exist just to watch you die, and I don't want to exist only to betray you. I truly want another reason to exist. Poor Cannon. I want to protect every one of us. Goodbye, Captain. Like this! Cannon! Farewell, Ruby Doll. I pray for the success. Your so literally he tricked Voyager in trying to uh, literally reach into heaven and touch God and in doing so killed both of them. <laughs> I <laughs> Well, I guess we now <laughs> I failed yet again. I guess we now have a spot on uh, Ruben for Alan. <laughs> That's not true. He's finally free from his curse. He won't be used by anyone anymore. So, you chose the same path I did, Lactus. Not shooting himself in the face. <gasps> well 
then! <laughs> That's, uh... That was some stuff. Power oh, I have to switch the power on, right? Because you have to switch the power on to use the elevator. Doom. Doom. It's either here or the other side. I don't know. Ooh. Hold up. Why is there just a monster chilling? <laughs> There's just an enemy chilling in here. <laughs> Gimme. Hello? Is there anything over here? No. What's up? See you later, bro! <laughs> I don't know if there's anything else in that room, but... Uh, this is me not caring. I really like Kanan as a character, to be honest. <laughs> when I first played this game and I saw and I saw that happen to him, I was just like, WHAT?! <laughs> but I like him! Hmm. Every character I love dies. So I can't remember if we have to go down that dungeon to activate the power for this elevator or not. Or if you can just hit the fucking elevator button. Ah, tits. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah, tits. <laughs> ah, tits. Scarlet 2021. Uh <laughs> oh, dearie, dearie, dearie me. Figure this is a good place to save. Seeing as I've been recording for 32 minutes. Yeah, this episode's probably gonna get cut short a little bit, but whatever. My name is Miss Gray Tanager, and I have been playing some Xenosaga Episode 3. I'll see you all in the next video.